Hello everybody, I hope you're all doing well, and welcome to Level Pixel Level. Today I just want to show you something a little bit different. I want to show you a level that I built using the Godot game engine. This is the first level I've tried to build using the 3D tools in Godot, and I really just want to push it to the limit to see how far I could take it and see how far I could render these models. All of the models here were built from the Quixel Bridge application. I didn't build any of these models. They were all brought in from that app. Uh, Quixel Bridge is a great app if you just want to get something that looks really nice to be brought into your game engine. As I mentioned, this is my first level design with the Godot game engine. I've worked with Unreal and Unity, uh, both on personal projects and professionally in the past. I do enjoy both those game engines, but I actually really enjoyed working in uh, Godot over this level as well. I found it was really easy to enter flow state where you just really lose track of time and just enjoy what you're doing and enjoy working in the application. Uh, the only other apps really found that I hit this in is in Blender and sometimes Photoshop. I'll just take you through my process. The first thing I usually do is do a really quick drawing on paper just to get an idea of what the level is going to be. I find it really easy to make changes here, adjust things, and really confirm as to what uh, my idea is for this level. Next thing I do is in Godot is I usually block this out just using cubes, planes, and basic shapes. And this helps me get down the scale of the level, and it also helps me achieve the lighting. For this level, I did add one directional light. I did try a spotlight and an omni light, but I just found that the one directional light worked better. One other thing I try to get down at this stage as well is my shadow settings. Not my final settings, I just try to get close to my final shadow so I'm not dealing with this at the end of the process. And I like things to look really nice with the lighting in the shadows as I bring them into the engine. The only other light in this shot is a procedural sky. And I'm using the sky energy under the ambient light to sort of give everything a bounce shadow. And I find this really helps just round out the lighting in my shot without using too many dynamic lights that'll slow the scene down. Next, I went to Quixel Bridge and I started bringing in assets into the game engine and I started processing them in, in their own individual scenes so I could connect the materials on their own. Bridge has a great mind setup and a really nice Old West setup, so it made making the scene really enjoyable. Once I had these assets in Godot and ready to go, I started replacing the cubes that I had built with the actual assets. So I started building the mine tunnel first and sort of built my way out from there. Uh, this process took a while. I really like to focus on big shapes first before working on the detail. I find it's easier just to get a really nice composition as to what I want to achieve before I build those smaller pieces. The only thing that wasn't from Bridge here was actually the rail system. I did build these rails in Blender, but I used textures from Quixel Bridge to finish this off. And the water shader, I'll leave a link in the description as to where I found that. It was an asset that I found on the go.asset browser. For the character controller uh, in this level, I actually just followed a tutorial that I found on the Godot website, and I'll link to that in the description as well below. As I mentioned, this was just my first level design test in Godot, just to see how far I could push the game engine. Anyway, a big thank you to, for, to my patrons for supporting this video. Uh, I am supplying the entire Godot project to my patrons for them to check out. Let me know what you guys think of this. I'd like to try more Godot featured videos in the future, just to see how far we can push this game engine. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Talk to you next time. Bye-bye.